Hey everyone, welcome to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And basically, what I want to do today is tame an Argentavis. I think it is time. We have a saddle that we crafted up in the tannery that I've got on the trike right now. I have all the materials I think we'll need for a pretty small trap, but hopefully it'll work. Um, I'm not particularly worried about the level that we get for an RG. Um, as long as it's an RG, I think we'll be in better shape than we are with the Pteranodon anyway. Because the weight is higher even at the base level, and the health is higher, All of everything is higher basically. So I'm not too worried about getting in high level RG just yet, as long as it is an RG. So I actually think I like this area for taming, it's kind of open. Um, it's not too steep, so it shouldn't be too hard to make this trap. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting stuff up. Alright, we're going to place one here. That's not what I wanted at all. Um, this one should let me undo. There we go. They're supposed to snap together, and I thought I had the right placement. There we go. All right, this side. And the last one. Is it gonna snap or am I gonna have to... There it is, almost. Where's the snap? I like that these gates snap together, but at the same time, it's a little difficult sometimes figuring out where exactly... There we go, the snap points go. Okay. So that's pretty good. Um, so now I think what we need to do is place a few of these. There are RGs down the hill, but not up the hill. So I'm going to place this guy here. I wish they would open the other way. No, can we... I wonder if there's a way to make these open the other way. Because I really... I really want them to open outwards. Um, that'll be way easier to actually... Nope. Okay. Well, that's going to be really difficult. Um, okay, we'll just, we'll just keep going and see. Hopefully this works. It may not. Um, I am aware that there are many problems with this style of trap. And I am, I'm not used to trapping RGs. Normally when I tame them... I just um, basically hop on whatever is kind of fast in the area and go for it. Why? Why? Why won't these place? This is a problem. Okay. Um, not cool. I'm not sure why that's happening. They should place on these fence foundations. Great. Awesome. I love Ark sometimes. The building in Ark is just amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and place this. Maybe if I place the foundation in here. If nothing else, I do have another um, big door. I mean, that's not very good for trapping, though. This is terrible. Okay, um, I'm gonna see if there's not a way to fix this. Hopefully. So frustrating. Okay. I don't know why it won't let me snap there. There shouldn't be any problems with a snap point there. There we go. I can at least pick up the stone pillar. Alright. Um, I'm going to try and sort this out, guys, and I will bring you guys back in a little bit when we have the trap all set up and we are ready to start taming an RG. So I will see you in just a little bit. Okay guys, we are back and this is finally completed. Um, it's a little bit rough and ugly, but I was working with what I had here. I had to move the stone foundations out so that they weren't actually um, linked to the gates in order to get them to work. It was a little frustrating. And then I couldn't get the ceilings right where I wanted them. But I think an RG should still fit in here. So without further ado, I think we're going to come down here and yes, this is all on foot. 
because um, we do have to run through the trap. I am going to try and just get one arrow into one of these RGs and get it to chase me up the hill. I saw a gray one right down here. He's not very high level. Ooh, I hope that's not like a saber because I don't want to mess with a saber. We could, I just don't want to. Um, there's that RG. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to get this out. I think this guy's not very high level, only like level 5. Really? How did that not hit? Okay, this could be a problem. I have a limited number of Trank arrows, so I don't want to waste them unless I'm sure of the shot. There we go. Ah, crap. Okay. <laughs> Did not mean to fire that one. We're gonna switch over here. Okay, he's still coming. We're okay. Oop, yep, RG, I, I know, you're angry. Excellent, okay. So that gate should eventually close on its own. And in the meantime, I can just sit here and throw a couple of Trank arrows onto this guy. Oh! Well, that was extremely fast, and I don't know that I needed a trap. Um, okay. I did actually try to trank one of these guys down the other day. I tried to do an RG Taming episode, but I didn't build a trap, and it just flew away from me. So it was a little bit frustrating. Uh-oh. What are we dealing with here? This is a lot of RGs suddenly spawning in behind me. Level 10, that's actually really good compared to what we have. And level three. Okay. I'm okay with this. I'm just happy that I'll have an RG at all. Um, so I'm gonna take some of this meat, and the trap will help to protect it from... Oh, that's what's going on. We have a saber. The trap should help to protect the RG from sabers and other things like that that are gonna try and come along and try to kill everything. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and put some meat on this RG. Ah, okay. Nope, get away from my RG. Ugh, vultures. Literally vultures. All right. No, no, no. No, no, no. You stay away from that, RG. There you go. You can attack me, and you can take those, but stay away from my RG. That one's gonna be my friend. Come on. Fight me. I want your prime meat. Because if you have prime meat, I want it. They're hard to hit. I gotta take gotta say. Unfortunately, I am gonna have to kill this level 10. Come back. Man, I wish... I wish they would stay a little bit lower in the air so that you could actually hit them. There we go. Okay. I hope our RG didn't get hit. Not that our taming effectiveness is going to be worth anything anyway on something this low level. Um, but it still makes me sad. Alright, can we... One piece of prime? Maybe? I would very much like a piece of prime. Nope. They're not taking requests today. That's alright. Okay, so the RG did unfortunately get hit. That is a really low taming effectiveness. Um, so we're probably only going to end up with a level 5 RG. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Um, let's see what kind of stats we're working with here. Okay, so... I mean, these stats aren't great, obviously, compared to what they could be. But they're definitely... Definitely a lot higher than our Pteranodon has. Um, the stamina alone is more than twice what our Pteranodon started out with. And the weight is already just about twice as high 
and the health is more than twice as high. So um, even though it's not like a great level or anything, I'm still I'm still happy that we're gonna have an RG at all. Okay, I'm gonna like make sure this guy's on neutral up here. This is kind of a scary area. Awesome, so I'm gonna wait for this RG to tame up. Um, looks like it's gonna take a little while and luckily I brought some narcotics. We are gonna need them. And yeah, I will see you guys when this is up and we are ready to take it back to base and test it out. Okay guys, we are back and this RG is just about to take its very last bite and then be our friend forever. I am very excited about this guys. Um, this RG is going to be super useful for carrying stuff around and getting to do things around the island and taking the saber around to different caves and things. I think that's mainly what we'll be using it for. Um, it actually has not been very long. This tame has taken pretty much no time. I found a rex just down the hill and uh, Sergio and I went and killed it for some prime, which greatly decreased the amount of time I had to be sitting around waiting for this guy to tame, which is awesome. Okay, so he is up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the saddle from Sergio. I'll probably put my torch away now. Um, how do I want to get in here? Probably from this side. Be the easiest way to grab him. Now don't glitch onto me, please. All right. Yes. Okay, so we have our beautiful RG now. He looks amazing. Um, he's all gray and he's got kind of a red head on him, which is awesome. So again, it's swipe up on the left side of the screen to fly. Um, double tap to fly quickly. If we swipe up again while we're in the air, we do the grab. And then a tap on the right side is an attack. And I believe that is just a talent attack. So you're like trying to kill stuff by raking it with your talons. Whoa. All right. And then swipe down to land. Awesome. So I'm going to take a look at this guy's stats real quick. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. Um, we're working with a little over 500 health, almost 600 health, which is pretty good. The stamina is about 750, weight's about 350, and melee is 117. So now this bird is not meant to be any sort of combat bird for me, I don't think, so I'm going to mostly focus on stam. Oh good, it goes up by a whole bunch. Um, so I'm going to mostly focus on stam and see if I can't get that up to around 2k. And once I do that, I'm going to mostly focus on weight um, and maybe a little bit of health just to get it up to like 1k so that if something hits it, it can take a couple of hits without being in too much trouble. Awesome. And then I think sometimes what happens is movement speed increases as well. Not on this one. Um, so if we level a tiny bit into movement speed, we may be able to tame a higher level RG at some point if we choose to do that. So I'm going to have... Eh, got to like be looking at him. There we go. So now Sergio should be following me. So we're going to just... Yep, we're going to go ahead and run back down to base. And then I think we're going to go out and... Do a little bit of testing. I want to see what kind of creatures we can pick up. Um, these birds have the stats and the appearance of the pre-flyer nerf on the PC game. So anyone who says um, that they can pick up Ankies and Dodix, we are going to find out today. Because luckily we have both of those back at base. And we'll check it out. It would be really useful if they could, but since these are... Since all of these bird models are based on an older version of ARC, um, I don't actually expect that to be the case. I keep like almost picking things up. There we go. Come on, Trachy. All right. So this is going to be kind of a slow process getting back, just navigating all these rocks with the trike. So I will see you guys when we are ready to take this guy for a test drive. Okay guys, we are back at base. Everything is now set up properly and we are ready to test out this RG. 
Um, I have not even glanced at this yet to see what kind of things we can pick up, but I figured we could start by trying to pick up a few of our dinos here. So first off, big test, can we pick up a Dodic? So I did do the swipe, I'm gonna try again. All right, it does not look like we can pick up a Dodic. Um, I'm not surprised. We can pick up the Raptor. That's cool. We can pick up the Raptor. Swipe again to drop it. Um, but it does not look like we can pick up... Nope. I'm really trying here. We cannot pick up Dodix and Ankies. Um, as I said, these birds are based on an older version of Ark, and so that does not surprise me, but it does make me very, very sad. Um, it would have been awesome to be able to do that. So I do want to test this guy out. Let's go see what else we can do. Those, by the way, belong to my neighbor friend. They're escaped dinos. Maybe we'll go down towards the swamp and see what we can get. Um, oh man, I'm like almost out of stam. Apparently, the trying to pick stuff up takes a lot of stam out of you. All right. Nah. <laughs> that was a cool uh, emote, which was nicely followed by a good RG poop. All right. So we're going to keep going here. So as long as we are just, like, flying normally, um, it seems like the stamina does not drain too quickly. But the swipe th to pick things up takes a lot of stam. You saw the drop. So watch the energy bar. When I do the swipe up, it drops so much. Um, so you only have like one or two chances to pick something up before it just completely drains your stamina, which is kind of unfortunate, actually. Um, it seems like a little bit too much. Like maybe they should cut that in half. I don't know. That's kind of my feeling on it. I'm going to see how much it is when I attack. So you can attack without using much stam. It's just picking stuff up is going to use a bunch, um, which kind of makes sense, but also kind of frustrates me. Man, I wish we could pick up Dodix and Ankies. I'm really glad they fixed that on the PC game, but now I'm really sad that Arc Mobile is like, for some reason, they're using everything that's old. They're not using any of the new models. They're not using any of the new stats, nothing, or abilities. I don't know. It seems like the game arc has finally been getting balanced, and now these guys are coming in and making it kind of a pain. Okay, no picking up sarcos, but I bet, yes, we can pick up pigs. Evil pigs. Evil pigs that try to kill everything and ruin my day. I know they're not really pigs. I know they're more closely related to elephants, technically, but, um... They look like pigs. There we go. And now we can go and feed. Man, we harvest quite a bit, too. No, Sarko, this is mine. Alright, it looks like we're gonna get in a fight. Epic RG Sarko battle here. This is what's going on. It's a little bit hard to aim on this game. Um, flying is still a little bit difficult. But it's not too bad. Um, it's definitely better than the Pteranodon because we're moving a little bit slower. We've almost got him. We don't do a ton of damage. Like I said, these are not combat birds for me. Nice. We did it. Oh, and the ragdoll is terrible. Ugh. That's okay. I just want the meat. Awesome. And now we have to land for Stam. Okay. So overall, um, I'm pretty happy actually with the RG. I think it's going to be good to have around the base. Um, it collects quite a bit of meat and hide, which is awesome. I think this is going to be a good taming companion. Give Sergio a break sometimes, I think. Um, yeah. All right, I want to go find a couple more things to do. I think I want to do a little more experimenting. I'm waiting for all that stam. Okay. 
Can we... There we go. Now, from what I recall, I think I used to be able to pick up Dimetrodons with these guys. I can't remember. But apparently not this time. Alright. So we can't pick up Dimetrodons. I wonder if there is something we can pick up here. Other than pigs. Raptors, obviously, yes. Parasaurs, no. Dodix, no. This is a very dangerous area. I wonder... Yes, okay, we can pick up Capros. This is cool. This is going to be useful because I do actually want to tame a Capro at some point. Um, they're an incredibly annoying dino unless you actually own one and then they're kind of cool because they can jump crazy long distances. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kill this guy. This is a really quick way to kill things too. If you can pick them up and do this to them, it's pretty great. Can we get him? There we go. Yes. I do wish you could hold on to the corpse, though. That seems like it would be a good thing to be able to do. Alright, and I'm not gonna mess with that, Sarko. I'm gonna go land up on the cliff over here and level up. Because the Stam is a thing. It is... It is a problem. We are going to need so much Stam. Here we go. All right. Hello, Meganura. I wish we also can't attack on the ground. Um, so I am attempting to do like some sort of bite attack. And again, since this is pre-flyer nerf, um, you cannot attack on the ground. You actually have to be lifted off, which is a little silly. Because birds can peck you when they're standing. I don't know why this is a thing. Brr, come here. There we go. Oh, cool. We got it midair. It's a little hard to aim. Cool. So, what else? What else? Can we pick up a frog? Probably. Yes. Okay. So, we can basically tame all of the mid sized swamp creatures with this, um, which is awesome. I'm super excited about that. Go ahead and drop that. And what else? What else? I want to kind of like wander around a little. I do feel pretty safe on the Argies. Um, they have plenty of stam. They have a decent amount of health. Oh, I bet we can get an explorer node over here. Yep. Excellent. Hello, Dillo. I don't like you. I just need some Stam. Okay. You know what? I don't like Dillos. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna eat you. This is for trying to interrupt my video. Alright. Cool. Level up again. Excellent. So now... Yes. This is pretty cool. So we are already like making huge inroads towards getting enough stam to get around and do a few things. Um, the next thing I want to level up is definitely weight so that we can carry just like a ton of stuff. And again, I know this is not like the best RG ever, um, but we may do a little bit of stamina leveling at some point. And then from there, stamina leveling speed leveling. We're going to do a little bit of speed leveling at some point, and then we may at some point try to tame a better RG. Um, just a just a higher level one, one that has a little more health and stam to begin with. Um, I think that could be good. You know, we're just going to... No, that's... Oh, we're out of stam. Fun. I wish we could kill this ant on the ground. That would be super useful. Very super useful. There we go. Can we hit you? Can we please, please, please hit the little tiny bug? There we go. That's one. Oh, little compies. Okay, so now back to what I was originally trying to do, which is pick up the pig. Awesome. 
I'm gonna pick up this pig and fly away with it. This is my whole plan. Because I hate the pigs and they are good for meat and I am still raising the baby saber. Um, so please expect that to be the next mobile episode where we are going to have a finished baby saber. Um, it will have all grown up, hopefully. It is taking quite a long time. Um, it's about two days, so just keep that in mind if you go to like breed on this game. Um, that it does take forever to breed and raise um, one dino. It is pretty brutal. It's just like vanilla rates on regular PC arc, and it's it's not fun. All right, I want a little bit more out of this one. I did all the work. Okay. Go up here, land for some stam, level up again. No. I may or may not have accidentally just hit the uh, watch add for experience button. We will never know. Um, I don't make you guys watch those. Okay. So I'm going to head back to base here. Oh, wow. Apparently, if you have an explorer note and you watch an ad, you can get four times experience gain. If you look at my little experience bar, I have a 4x on it, so apparently the experience gains stack, which I did not know, um, which is actually kind of handy. So I'm going to go ahead and kill something else here while I still have that 4x boost. But um, in the meantime, I'm also going to head back to base here. Um, I'm super excited about this RG. It's going to be really useful. And I'm going to keep an eye on the baby saber. I think it's getting about time to do another thing with it soon. So I will have to do that. Urgh. Kill. Harvest. All the meat. Excellent. Okay, so that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, if you found yourself enjoying it at any point, please do hit that like button, and if you want to see more content like this, you can subscribe. I play Arc Mobile um, just about every other day. A new video will come out, and I think it's, it's pretty fun. The channel's been growing really fast. I'm kind of blown away by it, actually. I haven't been doing YouTube for very long. So welcome to everyone who's new at subscribing, and uh, if you want to join, please do. Alright, so that's going to do it for today, guys. Signing off, this is the Iguana. I will catch you in the next one.